Welcome to the State of Delaware's Microsoft Exchange Online, a part of Microsoft Office 365. In this video, we'll look at the Microsoft Outlook web app, get familiar with its layout, learn about composing and organizing email messages, managing contact information, and personalizing our email. Let's begin by logging into the Microsoft Outlook web app. First, open a compatible Internet browser like Microsoft Internet Explorer. Mozilla Firefox, or Apple Safari. Next, type the address www.outlook.com into the browser's address bar, and then press the Enter key on the keyboard. Next, we'll need to enter our login ID, typically our email address. Enter our password, and then click the Sign In button. Now that we're logged in, let's get started. The Microsoft Outlook web app looks very similar to the Microsoft Office Outlook client we may have seen before, and it consists of several familiar looking areas for managing our email, appointments, contacts, and tasks. On the left side of the screen, we have our navigation pane. This area displays our regular email folders. There is a Favorites folder area we can use to display important email folders. And buttons we can use to switch between email, calendar, contacts, and tasks. To the right of the navigation pane is the message list, which displays the contents of a mail folder. The instant search tool for finding messages. And the toolbar area which contains buttons for creating, deleting, moving, filtering, and changing the way we view our messages. To the right of the message list is the reading pane, where a selected message or conversation is displayed. We can use this area to read, reply, forward, or otherwise interact with a message. Finally, in the top right corner of the screen, we have the ability to change Outlook options find a person in the address book, and sign out of Outlook. To read an email message, start by selecting a folder in the navigation pane on the left, and then select the message you want to read. The message will appear in the reading pane on the right. If you want to open the message in a separate window, double-click the message in the message list. If you would like to reply or forward a message, use the Reply, Reply All, or Forward buttons at the top of the message window. You can also reply, Reply All, or forward the message directly from the top of the message in the Reading pane, or by right-clicking the message in the message list and choosing the Reply, Reply All, or Forward commands from the shortcut list. Finally, press the Send command in the top left corner of the message. If you'd like to print an email message, first double-click the desired message in the message list. Next, click the Printable View button in the toolbar area at the top of the message. This will open the message in a printer-friendly window and then open a print window. Here, you can select your desired printer and click the Print button. To delete an email message, select the desired message in the message list, and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. The message will be sent to your Deleted Items folder. You can also click the Delete command at the top of the message list, or right-click a message and choose the Delete command. When you want to create a new email message, start by clicking the New button. It's in the toolbar area above the message list. This will open a new untitled message window. Next, enter the recipient's email addresses in the To or CC lines, or click the To or CC commands to open the address book. Choose from either the default global address list or one of your own contact folders to display their contact entries. 
Now we can search for the people we'd like to send our message to and add them to the two CC and BCC address lines. Finally, add a subject line and your message. If you need to change the way some of your message text looks, you can highlight your text and then use the message toolbar to change fonts, add emphasis, or change font color. There's also a Customize button where you can find tools for aligning text, erasing formatting, and everyone's favorite, undo and redo. If you're using Microsoft Internet Explorer, you can spell check your message by clicking the spell check button in the message toolbar. Outlook will place a red, wavy underline under any misspelled words in the body of the message. Right-click a misspelled word to view and choose from the suggested spellings. If you're using an internet browser like Apple Safari, its built-in spell check can be set to automatically spell check as you type. To attach a file to an email message, click the paperclip button in the message toolbar to open the file browser. Select the file you'd like to attach and click the Open button. You can keep working on the message while the attachment uploads. Finally, send the email by clicking the Send command in the upper left corner of the message window. Microsoft Outlook's integration of follow-up flags with your messages and task lists makes it easier to stay organized and manage your daily task flow. By right-clicking the flag symbol next to any message, you can mark the message as a follow-up task and set a reminder for later. Messages flagged for follow-up are organized in your tasks area of Outlook according to when you've marked them due. This way, you know when you need to prepare for or work on certain tasks related to your email messages. Mark either the message or task as complete when you're done. When you'd like to move a message into another message folder, simply click and drag the message to the desired folder. You may also select several messages by clicking their message icon to check them. Then, click the Move button to select the desired folder, or create a new folder. When you receive an attachment in an email, you can normally double-click the attachment and choose whether you'd like to open it, or save the attachment to the computer you're working on. Some attachments, such as Word or Excel files, can be opened directly in the browser through Office 365. If available, click the Open in Browser command next to the attachment. To add a new contact to your Outlook address book, click the Contacts button in the lower left corner of the Outlook web app. Next, click the New button in the toolbar above the contact list. If you'd like to create a group or distribution list, Click the drop-down arrow next to the New button and choose Group. In the New Contact window, enter the information you have for the contact, and then click the Save and Close button in the top left corner of the contact window. Locating a contact in the Contacts list can be easy. We can arrange and sort our contacts by clicking the Arrange By command near the top of the contact list and choose from a number of different options. We can also sort them easily with the A or Z on top command. We can also enter a little information about the contact into the Search Contacts field at the top of the contact list, and press the Enter key on the keyboard. Or use the Find Someone field in the top right area of the Outlook web application. If you ever need to update the information you have for a contact, double-click that contact in the contact list to open it, and then change their information. Make sure to click the Save and Close button when you're ready to save your changes. The Outlook web app makes personalizing your email environment and your email messages easy and just a little fun.
You can apply a custom look or a theme to your Outlook web app screen by clicking the Options command in the top right area of the screen. Then, choose one of the themes from the theme gallery to apply the new theme. Adding an email signature to your email adds a look of professionalism, and it's an easy way to provide your contact information to others. To create your own custom email signature, first click the Options command, and then choose See All Options. Next, click the Settings command in the Options navigation pane on the left. In the Email Signature box, enter your name and other contact information you'd like to share. And use the Formatting Toolbar buttons to further customize the look of your signature. If you'd like your email signature to be automatically included on messages you send, place a check in the Automatically Include checkbox. And then click the Save button to save your email signature. Your custom signature will now be included in every email you send. Return to this email signature area if you'd like to make any changes to the look of your custom email signature. You can also personalize your email security settings in order to protect your inbox from receiving too much junk mail or to prevent a legitimate sender's message from going to the junk mail folder. To personalize your junk mail settings, First, click the Options command and choose See All Options. Next, click the Block or Allow command in the Options navigation pane on the left. Use the Safe Senders and Recipients area to add specific email addresses or entire company domains that you consider legitimate. This way, their email messages will never be sent to the junk email folder. Use the Blocked Senders area to add specific email addresses or entire domains for email messages you wish to always have sent to the junk email folder. Be sure to click the Save command to complete your changes. In this video, we looked at the Outlook web app, took a tour of its layout, learned about composing and organizing messages, managing contact information, and personalizing our email. Thank you for taking the time to view this video, and be sure to check out additional videos coming soon.